Hey gang, you guys here today? I just need to get a few things set up, but I wanted to start. And then I'll say hi once you guys start popping on. I um, I was in a meeting this morning, so I just got out of that and wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page. We see I have one. Hi, Crystal, it's you. Um, okay, so I, yeah, apologies guys. I'm just getting set up today. I was in a meeting this morning and I just finished a second ago. So you're gonna have to watch me set up my, uh, my um, makeover Monday for today. So I'll get there, I'll get there really fast. Hi Lisa, hi Roxanne. Hi, Judy. It's awesome. Okay, so I also have to go get my laptop because we had a submission for Makeover Monday. So I'm going to go grab it. Oh, you guys are going to love this one because it's actually, it's a super beautiful painting. Oh, there we go. It's a super beautiful painting. It just needs a few little tweaks. And, um, but I believe it's common, like they're common tweaks, they're common issues that a lot of you face um, when you're looking at, hi Diane, hi Meg, um, when you guys, oh, pardon me, are working with your paintings. So let's open it up and have a look. All right, I wasn't able to print it because I still don't have my ink for my printer. So I'm just gonna, I don't want to say fix the painting, but I'm just going to work on the painting and show you guys that it's probably just a composition issue. And give me one second, let me find it. It was submitted yesterday by one of our regulars. Hi, Lori. Hi, Margo. Happy Monday, everybody. Um, me one sec. Yeah, it's one of our regulars who submitted this yesterday for um, I could check the email if I remember who submitted it. Unfortunately. So if you're on and you're hope and you sent me an email because you wanted me to do your painting for Makeover Monday, let me know. Um, I can't remember who it was. It was yesterday for sure. So I know this isn't very exciting, so I need to know who submitted their painting. It's not Denise. Hi, Denise. Someone submitted their painting, and I'm just looking for it for Makeover Monday. Um. I know it was right there and I said, oh, that's a perfect painting to do because it's common. It's a common issue. So let's get there. Yesterday was the 31st. It, this shouldn't be this hard to find, right? I just read it yesterday. Still no one laying claim to this. Um, it wasn't Cindy, Heather, that's who it was, it was Heather. So I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna flip the camera around and we're gonna take a look at Heather's painting. So let's open it up and enlarge this so that you guys can see. There we go, there we are. So looking at that, that is the picture that we're going to deal with today for Makeover Monday. So I'll just um, uh, do it on paper so that I can show you what the issues are because unfortunately, like I said, I didn't wasn't able to, to print it because I'm still out of ink. But let's analyze, let's start with the um it's really pretty right like there's really you would look at it and you say i'm not sure why she doesn't like this painting because it's actually quite beautiful uh, i'll get the light on it a little bit better give me one quick sec plug in my light you guys are getting the full experience and full tour here you get to see the floor now all right and everything 
Okay, so put the light on it so that we can see. Oh, that's actually worse. That's actually worse. Let me turn that light off. All right, so um, it's actually a very pretty painting, but we're gonna look at it first of all from composition and then from value, okay? So those are really our two things that we're always looking at in Makeover Monday um, because they're usually the most common um, issues with a painting. So if we start with value and we start with um, composition, I'm going to point out a few things, okay? So our area, our eyes always start, remember, at the area of the, the greatest area, so the biggest area of high and low concentration together. So this whole bottom part is very black, right? And then because it's balanced right beside with white, this area right here, the whole bottom, becomes where our eye goes first. Now, because this bottom is so heavy, right? It's so heavy, our eye struggles to move from past this area if it weren't for this penguin, which carries us up to here. Where we're making the difficult, um, hi Dulce, where we're making the difficult jump is from here to the dark part up here. So this is the, the problem area. So there's a few little lines and things which are bringing us down, but because this is so big in terms of space of the painting, right? So this is where our eye begins, lands, and kind of stays. So we stay down here as a result of this black and white. So how will we get the viewer to go up here? That's really what we want, and then to come back down. Okay, that's what we want. You want to create like a pattern, a triangle, um, a circle. You want to create a direction for the eye to travel within this painting. So there's a teeny little bit of black up here, teeny little bit of black up here, and then there's some dark little lines, but it's not enough because of the absolute girth of the bottom next to the white, next to this penguin, right? So unfortunately, we've got this little travel pattern all down here so I'm gonna flip it over now to my paper and we're gonna look at how she could get that to move and how she can get that eye to move around through the painting for sure so I just need to look for my tripod how could I have lost my tripod hmm my studio is slowly getting cleaner but we're not there yet. You can see the floor. This is actually a vast improvement. Um, yeah, somehow I've lost my tripod. So I am just going to give it a little ramp here. So that. There we go. Hi, Lucy. No, that's not helpful, is it? Oh, here it is. Look at that. I even put it away. There's a shock. Okay, so I'm going to put this over here. I hope none of you get seasick. All right, good. Oh, the video is not playing for people. Do you want me to stop it and start again, you guys? Okay, I'll just end this and then we'll start again, okay? Let me just, we'll stop it and then we'll start again.